So we'll tell you, those of you who are, most of you aren't producing content and your or your content isn't being seen. And then they've stacked the content to be these provocative, rich biatches out of New York City and L.A. And it's really gross. It's gross. It's the energy of money. It really is exposing you for who you all actually are. I was going to tell the Iranians that the United Kingdom is stronger than Iran. I was going to tell you that. And I don't know if you remember in 1776 when we had the Constitution signed, the Declaration of Independence, that we were battling the United Kingdom. So I have some lessons in your strength with the United States of America and what we were capable of in a time against King George. So there's some really dark age stuff going on in that's in the historical pieces of your country. And I wanted to help Prince William and Prince Harry evolve yourselves into something. Even though I'm not a huge fan, I'm a huge fan of the Queen and I'm a huge fan of Harry and William, Prince Harry and William. However, the people, you may or may not have lost your minds. You used to be um, normal, or a little too normal, a little too square, a little too controlling, a little too stick up your rear ends, a little bit your way or no way. And, and that's fine, except I live in, well, I used to live in democracy, now I'm living in hell. However, the concern is that you're driving away. You don't go to London to go to a football game, an American football game. You go to America to go to an American football game. You as a country should be furious. This elite crew who can afford trips to London are destroying everything that Americans people from London. They're destroying the middle class. This is more proof. Elites show up to London, not Okay, well we were interrupted because there's some doo-doo dark shit going on in London. And we're not going to advance you that's how crazy you are. You can't take on any form of feedback. You just automatically think it's positive. It wasn't positive. How many people in London liked Mona Vand? Nobody. How many people from Nigeria like Motivand? Nobody. How many people from Iran like Motivand? Um, nobody. Her own countrymen don't even like her. Her own countrymen do not even like her. People in America do not like her. Nobody likes you. So what she does instead is she parades around her diamond because she's in love with her diamond. Imagine you have a big diamond and you're attached to the diamond and the death that came from the diamond. And that's what you run around town spewing out as if you're elite when you don't do shit. You don't do shit. 
Motivating, you don't do shit except for whatever you do. Everything out of your mouth is aggravating. Everything out of our mouth is an attempt to steal someone else's education or whatever that... You are so ignorant, girl. Awkward, unattractive, and it's written all over your platform. Four likes and zero comments. That tells you that no one's actually interested in anything she has to say or do. She's only being seen because of Gary V. So think about that. She's had an opportunity for five years to grow her platform. Nothing's grown. She just paid for a million. And then paid for, what did she pay for? She paid for 435000 No interest in her at all, except for anger and fueling her own, like, fart stench of weird. Like, she's fucking weird. Moving into a new uh, space with that shit. Oh my god, can you fucking believe she posted that shit? What the hell is wrong with that girl? She is so ignorant. I cannot believe she sits up there and thinks like that. What an idiot. She's so effing clueless. So her hair, oh my God. Her body even. Oh my God. That is the most grossest shit I've ever seen. Have you seen the way Kamala Harris wears her suits? So like ghetto and low class. Even Jasmine Crockett dresses better than Kamala Harris. And Jasmine Crockett is like a peon. That's the reality of what we're dealing with here, folks. So you better start judging these people for what they're actually up to versus this fucking mirage shit of no judgment. No, you judge. You American? Americans judge. You have your own opinion. You, I want you to not like me. Say you don't like me. You better not like me because what I have to say is groundbreaking and most people don't like change, which means that all these people that you proclaim to like, they don't even, they don't do shit except for fuel their egos. There you go. So all they do is get you to like them. By saying, don't judge other people, plenty of time, joy and happiness, and nothing changes or moves in your life. But their lives change, and he's on his way to London to watch a Jets game at 9.30 in the morning in America. And you're going to be like, oh, well, let me get up at 8 o'clock on a Sunday when I like to sleep in at 9 and go to church. So now you're going to take out the church? And then you're going to say football's your church? So that Motivan can wear a green jacket with her scrawny little body and that weird fucking body of hers. It's not attractive. She's gross to look at. Her whole demeanor is pathetic. It's dark. It's grainy. It's Persian. It's Middle East. There is no American in that bone of hers. And then all you do is turn a blind eye and walk away when you've just been violated by a, a Persian motivant because Gary told you to be kind. Is that really what's going on in America right now? Or London? Damn, that's some weak ass shit, ain't it?